Ugh, right. What's up? This edition of Super Awesome Reviews of New Action at Hummingbird, a film that really has nothing to do with tiny birds, but instead is about a damaged war vet trying to rebuild his life on the streets of London with the help of a nun that looks a bit like a hungry vulture. It stars Jason Statham, who I'll probably be referring to as the Stath far too many times because, well, I can as crazy Joey Jones, the world's luckiest homeless guy who literally falls into a new life. He falls through a window into an apartment that turns out to be owned by some rich dude who's, rather conveniently, living abroad for the next few months, so the state decides to set up shop and get his life back together. Now, usually you know what you're getting yourself in for when you watch a Jason Statham movie. You'll put on a fancy suit before going topless for no apparent reason and then run about kicking people in the head, but this one is a bit... Strange. Don't get me wrong, he does do all these things in this film. It wouldn't be a Jason Statham movie without it, but it was billed as a real change of pace for Jason Statham, which it just kind of wasn't. There's nothing wrong with actors diversifying. Leslie Nielsen and Tom Cruise going comic for Airplane and Tropic Thunder, respectively, are some of the funniest performances you'll ever see, and Heath Ledger going from sort of pretty boy teen heartthrob to the Joker was mind blowing. The Stath's idea of diversifying is putting on a limp and then crying at the end. Which, by the way, is not a pretty sight. I get that cry acting is hard, but you don't need to make it look like you're trying to poop out a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Somehow I doubt this is Jason Statham's fault, and it's probably down to director Stephen Knight. This is his first time in the director's chair, and I don't know what happened, but this film is just a mess from the beginning. It opens with a war set piece which is fairly confusing, obviously deliberately so to draw you in, keep you intrigued for the rest of the movie, but instead you're just like, what? Wee. It's then gradually revealed throughout the film via flashbacks from the state what happened and how that's tied into his current situation. Flashbacks can be used well. Reservoir Dogs, for example, proves this, but 9 times out of 10 it's just a kind of lazy way of moving the story forward, and this film proves no exception. And from then on, it just rambles. It's odd because plenty happens, but this film just goes nowhere, and I found myself really bored for most of the runtime. Who knows, maybe I'm just pissed off because this is the end was sold out and I had to go see this crap instead. But honestly, nothing happens for an hour and a half and then Jason Statham cries. <coughs> the film has like four subplots going on and none of which are interesting enough to engage me. You're like, oh right, that just happened. No, I'm, I'm bored, I don't even care anymore. Oh god damn it, this is the end would have been so much better. The film feels totally aimless. Stath is obviously trying to escape his murky past, so he does this by becoming a heavy for some Chinese gangsters. He spends an entire montage killing people and cracking skulls, and then he spends his money on buying pizzas for a soup kitchen. It's kinda hard to tell whether or not this is a sort of modern day Robin Hood steal from the rich give to the poor type thing, or whether he's just so guilty that he wants to claw back some self respect. Like it's all over the place, I'm just saying. The film has some genuinely funny moments, I'm just not sure they're intentional funny. The obligatory lead character kiss scene is so unbelievably pointless it feels like it belongs in another movie, and one scene involves a trip to an art gallery that shows nothing but black and white pictures of men's dicks. Close up! Wah. Overall, two stars, Hummingbird is humming a buzz. It has enough content in it to keep it from being a one star movie, but anything that has Jason Statham in it as a character called Crazy Joey should not be this boring. Thank you for watching my review of Hummingbird, I hope you enjoyed it. Did you see the film? Do you agree with what I was saying? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my review, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more videos, and share the video on Facebook, Twitter, you know, all that good stuff, let everybody know, and I'll be releasing more videos very, very soon, so stick around.